What's up, YouTube? Back at you with another video, another quick take. I got my main man, my partner, my homeboy up in here. And if you don't know, now you know. The Prince of Fresh Air, thanks for having me, bro. I appreciate it. My man. So we've got uh, a situation here that I wasn't even going to talk about because I did a previous quick take back in February. And, you know, you called me uh, about it. And going through the motions of that conversation just made me think, well, you know what? Let's just do a quick take, a definitive one, a final one, because I'm not talking about this anymore. So we've got an article courtesy of FoxNews.com, which says John Morant should be suspended for all of next season, says ex-Grizzlies player. The article goes on to say that Chandler Parsons, a former NBA guard who made the all-rookie team in 2012, called for a severe punishment for John Morant after he was seen flashing a gun on Instagram Live this past Saturday. The Memphis Grizzlies... Uh, suspended Morant from all team activities as the NBA investigates the situation. Morant hasn't commented on the latest incident. Parsons, who played for the Grizzlies from 2016 to 2019, called for the NBA to suspend John Morant for the entire 2023-2024 season. Morant was already suspended eight games after his first gun incident back in March. I thought that was February. Um, he says, suspend him all of next season. Uh, Parsons wrote on a Bleacher Report Instagram post. The video in question showed Moran in the passenger seat dancing to some music with some friends. <laughs> he then appeared to pull the gun out to show off for the camera. And that's when the friend holding the phone pulled it away from the Grizzlies point guard and faced it towards his shoulder. A photo appearing to show Morant with the weapon went viral around social media. On Sunday morning, the Grizzlies announced the Morant suspension. We are aware of the social media posts involving John Morant and are in the process of gathering more information. NBA spokesperson Mike Bass told The Athletic. So, what are your thoughts on this situation? You know what? They say people be fumbling the bag. Well, Jay Morant is fumbling the bag hard. Look, I know a lot of people are going at the way, going at this way of attacking him, but I'm going to do something different, uh, something Shannon Sharp is doing. And not just attacking him, but attacking his entourage and the people who condone him. There's a lot of people who around him, close to him, uh, even some people like uh, Stephen A. Smith, apparently to Shannon Sharp, is saying that they need to stop uh, buttering him up. You know, they get they need to hold him accountable because a lot of people are making it seem like it, it, it's this is innocent, stupid stuff a uh, 23 year old would do, which. I get it. You know, he's a young, rich uh, athlete. He probably listens to a lot of hip hop um, and he's trying to be a rapper, even though he's an NBA player. And I think that's a huge problem. I also think um, he has a lot of people in his entourage. He need to clean up. You know, I, I watched an interview with uh, um, uh, Maku Ja White and he talked about this after his success with Spawn and how he was getting all these Hollywood roles. He said, you know what, the difference between me and most other actors is I don't have a bunch of yes men, right? My mom, when if I'm doing something stupid, she corrects me. If my business manager sees me doing something stupid, they correct me. Everybody in my circle is there to help me and, and teach me how to grow as a person. So I don't make stupid mistakes that cost me my career. John Morant has a lot of people in his circle. You know, thank God for the guy recording the video because obviously he probably didn't know it was coming and he tried to take turn the camera away before you know it was on uh, live too long but he has a lot of people in the circle who either is thriving on him acting like an idiot or is very jealous of him and uh, it, and this is what the second incident in two three months of him posting a gun online mm -hmm. um like i said man there's a lot of people in the circle either praying on his downfall jealous of him or they are just you know, yes, men, and just let him do whatever he wants because he is the money maker in the group. Mm -hmm. And I think ultimately, this guy is gonna be flipping cheeseburgers soon. And I, I make that joke a lot, but realistically, with this guy, he's he's uh, he's not getting a supermax contract anytime soon. Yeah. He's he's lost, he's lost endorsements with Gatorade recently because of this. I'm pretty sure any mm -hmm. other endorsements he has, he's probably gonna lose in the next few weeks. Okay. This dude's gonna be flipping cheeseburgers or delivering your Amazon Fresh groceries, and people might laugh. But I'm being serious, and I feel yeah. bad because this dude can potentially, after a couple years in the league, retire and have a generational wealth. Right. You know? Okay. But. So, all right. Now, for those who are listening and have heard my previous quick take on John Morant, 
and the whole gun flashing on Instagram in the freaking strip club. Now you will have you would have heard that I tried to be devil's advocate for John ja Morant in one way and one way only. And it was to say that, you know what? He's 23 years old. He hasn't lived enough life yet. Of course, he's going to make foolish decisions because he's 23 years old. When I was 23, I did a lot of stupid stuff that I would not do now at my age. All right. And that's what I said. However, I said, if he does it again in however months or X amount of years, I said he will not get any sympathy from me. And lo and behold, two months later, he did the same dumbass shit that he that got him in trouble the first time. Now, my thing is this. You can't put it on any of his friends. You can't put it on his dad. You can't put it on anybody else but Ja himself because it is all his fault. All right. People say when you do something stupid the first time, you can say it's a mistake. The second time you do something stupid, it's a choice. All right. And clearly at his status, at his level of wealth and all of that, he doesn't feel like the fines that he's getting or the backlash that he's getting is really all that serious to him because it's not affecting his lifestyle in any way, shape or form. Because clearly that two game suspension and all the memes and stuff, it didn't really matter to him because he turned around and did the same dumbass shit again. Yeah, let me say this, man. Um, you know, th we did, I talked about this on the Will Smith situation. John Moran is no different. Um, you know, I'm, I'm reading articles and I'm seeing a lot of people talking about him. And again, this stereotype, this guy, John Moran, young dude, dreads, a decent looking dude. But a lot of people look at him like a, like a stereotype. And now he's proven that stereotype to media personalities, uh, to the NBA officials. He's showing exactly what some people think. Black people are criminals. And for him, you know, he's losing out on, uh, I believe he was able to extend his contract this season for another $40 million. So now he's not getting that. He's not getting his Supermax contract at all. He's probably going to get – I really feel like he needs to get suspended for, if not half the season, the full season. Um, I think this guy needs a wake-up call. And his mother, his parents need to step in because, again, I can't even blame his friends because at the end of the day, his friends are probably his age too and not thinking clearly. And they're not NBA players. They're not in the middle of it. They don't so, have anything to lose in, in his – Exactly. Situation. They don't care. Why, why should they care? Because – they're going to do everything that Ja wants because he's the millionaire. So they benefit off of that. So they're not really going to want to be the voice of reason in his ear because that's going to burst his bubble. That's going to like literally like, like remove the fantasy because most people like John ja Morant, they want nothing but yes men in their corner. Like Michael Jai White was talking about the majority of these people there. There are people that cater to, you know, his like erratic behavior. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to be like, yo, Ja, I don't think you should do that, man. He's going to be like, what? All right. And he's going to stop talking to him. They're afraid of that. Yeah, that's a fact. And you know what? I The reason why I'm not coming too harshly down on him, even though I do believe he is making some stupid decisions, you know, it's easy for the average person to look at him and say, oh, he has all this money. What type of idiot things is he doing, right? But at the same time, the average American, no matter what age, has never touched a million. Never touched two million, let alone touch thirty million. John Jones is one of my favorite fighters of all time. John Jones have done some amazingly stupid things at John's age. He's hit pregnant women uh, and fled the scene. He's done some other stuff, and that's a guy I really enjoy. But I will look at John and say, you know what? He did some incredibly stupid things because it was a black young black dude came from the projects made a boatloads of millions of dollars. Nobody ever sat down and told him about, you know, how to handle it. John Morant is another guy I feel like. I don't know what his life was like, but I feel like he probably came up in not the greatest circumstances. Uh, he has a lot of money now. I mean, to, I, I look at it this way. If I was 22, still doing acting like, like I'm doing now, and I was able to make five hundred, no, uh, $20 million dollars, I might do some th stupid things. I'm not. Let me I, ask I mean, you something. Right now, well, let me ask you point, something. But why? Why is there so much emphasis being placed on 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 money? Because at the end of the day, with or without money, these will still be the same guys. And in my opinion, these these same mistakes would have still happened. So you want to mention John John Jones? That those things didn't happen to him because he he got money. Those things happened to him is because that's who he is. 
and that's who he, who he that's who he wanted to be. Money is when you get money, all right, and you you win the lottery tomorrow. That money is not going to make you do something that already wasn't within you, festering within you anyway. If you get what I'm saying. So if John Morant wasn't in the NBA, he would still be somewhere with grills in his mouth, tattoos, and guns in his hands because that's who he is. This is who he is. This has nothing to do with, with money or anything like that. This is who he is because it's funny that, you know, even with all the backlash, he's still doing it because that's who he is. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I always say this. People don't change. People just grow. You get what I'm saying? So, so people, him, them putting out the statement saying that, oh, you know, he's in a facility in Florida and then he's going to learn from this and all of that. And all, no, no, he's still, this is the same guy. You, you hear me say these things a lot. This is the same guy. So this is always going to happen with him. Honestly, if he, you if he does all of a sudden mature, that's because that was always within him to mature anyway. But it's going to take something to happen in order to facilitate that, that maturation process. But. But let's not put it on how much money these guys, you know, are making because you're not going to give me, you know, $10 million and then all of a sudden you're going to see me with grills in my mouth, you know, flashing guns and stuff on Instagram Live, on YouTube, doing drugs and all of that. Because if you see me doing that, that's because I was always doing that or it was always within me to do that anyway. I might be a little bit older than fucking Ja, but the, the, the same life rules still apply. You you know what you 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 are right. I do think there is certain things. I, obviously, I do believe that, that this guy is successful going to some aspect. I do think that. I think again. I think when you're young and you have the problem with John, he don't have even his mom. It don't seem to me his parents are sitting this man down and telling him, "Yo, you're throwing away you know the last 15 years of your life that you worked so hard for." You know, doing st stupid th doing stupid things like this because one, money changes people, and it may not no, it change. It changes the people. It changes the people around you because what oh, around you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what can his parents tell him now? He's the breadwinner. He's richer than them. He's he's got more money than them. All right. He he's more famous than they. He's the breadwinner. Usually, and I and I've always heard this to be true. Like when when that happens, the dynamic between you and your parents that changes. That will change. Your relationships with people will change because their perception of you now changes. Because I'll keep it a buck. If I'm a successful actor, okay, I have a hundred, let's say I have a hundred million dollars in my bank account. Now I got way more money than both my parents put together that they'll ever make in 10 lifetimes. And I got all that money. They can't tell me shit. They can't tell me anything. I mean, if I'm being real, I mean, my parents can't really tell me much now. <laughs> Needless to say, if I got $100 million, but my but my reasons for that are different. But nonetheless, they are going to view me differently. Yeah, they might can try to give me some, like, I, I don't know, tips or things that they would and wouldn't do. But the value for that is, is going to be a lot lower because I have way more than them monetarily now. But so you, I've, I've, surpassed, I've surpassed them. So his father is more, and we, me and Adrian, we talked about this before. Him and his dad, they're probably more so like peers, more so than 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 father son. If you get what I'm saying, he's more so like his friend now than anything. And his father is probably benefiting off of the perks of Ja. So their relationship is not what it was before he got to the league. Absolutely not. No, no, you're right. But the, at the same, it, it's like with with, with um, you know, with um, Michael Ja White said because Michael Ja White was in this late. Uh, like early 30s when he started getting roles in Hollywood. So this man already had a family. He already had a wife and all this stuff. So he lived a life. He had, he had the life and he had the money. And he had more money than his parents. And his no, wife I mean, I mean, he lived a whole life before he got famous. Oh, oh, right, right, right. But what I'm saying is, like for Ja, he probably listened. Here's the thing, and I've been critical of the hip hop music nowadays. It's very. It, it, it glorifies violence. You've seen all these rappers in and out of court. I mean, look at how many rappers in court right now battling murder cases, uh, federal indictments, uh, first-degree manslaughter, uh, murder. It, it, rap and hip-hop music has changed and influenced a whole nother generation, John included. Now, I think for a young black kid with a lot of money, and even let's say we take the money out, but he's, you know... He's a lot of times when he's pulling out this gun, it's not because he's, you know, sitting in the comfort of his own home. He's usually an environment that involves 
other people in music. And I'm pretty sure he's listening to rap music. I could be wrong, but I feel like he's trying to be a rapper who's an NBA player. And I think him, I think Ja needs his priority straight, and he don't have people in his corner to tell him, yo, bro, you're throwing away all this money. Because we's looking at it from outside in, like, yo, he's losing $600,000 from Gatorade because of this? He might be sitting up there talking about, I got $15 million in the bank. I don't care. Right, but, but with all that, yeah, but with all that said, doesn't that really highlight how dumb he is? Because let me tell you something, like, Samuel Jackson said this. Like, someone said, oh, like, but you know, aren't people influenced by movies and stuff like, like the violence in films and stuff. And he was like, no, like you don't make life about a movie. He was like, stupid people do shit like that. So just because I listen to, I don't know, like Tupac or some shit. And I hear Tupac talking about shooting and killing people and, and, and this and that. If I go and, and let that inspire me to go shoot somebody, is that Tupac's fault or is it my fault? Oh, uh, it's your fault. Exactly. So, so we can't we can't put the the onus on other people when at the end of the day, Ja is in control of himself and his in his own life. So the rappers that he listened to, these people are not puppeteers on his body and his mind. All right, because music is just music. Music is literally rhythm and and and, and lyrics. That is all it is, and you take it for what it is. But Ja again, it's like all right, I'll tell you. There's only a certain age where you can say you are influenced by rappers and stuff like that, okay? That is for middle school kids, at best. Middle school, early high school, until you until you really grow up or mature and develop a sense of self. Because I'll say, yeah, I used to listen to Dipset when I was, you know, like in, in the seventh and eighth grade and, and things like that. Yeah, sure. But that only lasted for the seventh and eighth grade until I got to high school. I stopped listening to them. But at no point did I think, oh, because of all this music that I'm listening to, that means I have to act on the lyrics that I just heard. And then nine times out of ten, these rappers that are talking about that, they don't even live that lifestyle in real life. Right. So, again, let's just call it for what it is. He is stupid. He's stupid. No, he or he stupid. just doesn't, Or he just doesn't care. Like, I... You know, and I, and that's fine. But my, my thing is this, like, him, if he just doesn't care, then he is 100% entitled to, to live the life that he wants to live. If if guns, strip clubs, tattoos, hanging out with thug-looking dudes is what will make him happy, by all means, have at it. By all means, have at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, I, honestly, like, I, I've completely absolved myself <laughs> from John Morant at, at this point. Because to me, like, I couldn't even watch an interview of his without like me just getting annoyed like by him honestly yeah i've wrapped i've wrapped my final point up my final thoughts i'll say this you know john morant is a guy i feel bad for him because he's about to lose a lot of things but, but you why know, do you feel bad though why do you feel bad for him because I, I he's feel not like, a baby no no he's not a baby but at the same time he's a young kid who don't realize it's like it's like uh, he does, but he does. Uh, That's what I'm saying. No, no. He does because he wouldn't be doing it. If it uh, I look at it this way, it's like uh, you take for instance someone who whose parents are rich, right? Like I remember this kid from Long Island. He used to drive a Ferrari, and this dude was like 16 years old. His parents are loaded, so he would do stupid things. And we tell him, I, I, the place I used to work at was a tennis facility. He used to do dumb stuff, doing donuts in the parking lot, you know, getting close to hitting people. And we used to tell him, yo, bro, you need a ride. You're going to get arrested. And he's got his car impounded uh, at the place and all this stuff. And his parents always give it back to him. So for him, and I know it's a different age, but at the same time, if you have nobody who can teach you, yo, bro, what, you, what you're doing is wrong, then you're going to feel like no matter what, you're right. So for Ja... He keeps doing this gun thing because he has nobody in his corner. No, like I said, he doesn't care. Buddy. That that boy does not give a damn. You don't think as famous as he is, as rich as he is, he hasn't met somebody that that literally was like, "Yo, Ja, you gotta slow down." Especially in the last couple of months, you don't think mad people have called his phone, NBA players, celebrities, friends, family, strangers. The fucking internet? You don't think people have... He has gotten the voice of reason already? But literally, hold on. from all sides of the spectrum, he has okay. gotten... He, there's no way he has not have, have, have received an idea of the right thing to do, of what he should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing in his freaking position. 
on all sides. So there is no way somebody can say, oh, well, he, he doesn't have anybody. He's like, yes, he fucking does. And he doesn't listen. Niggas like that do not listen to people. You can sit there and be like, yo, don't smoke crack. And then they're going to fucking smoke crack anyway. They don't care. Some people just do not care. Obviously, it's not as crazy as that. Right. But he doesn't give a damn. So you have to, this is what I'm saying. You have to hold people accountable at a certain point. If you go to jail, if, if let's say you commit a crime, Right, and then you go to jail, or some shit, or you you're supposed to go to jail for two years, but the judge says, you know what, this was your first offense, this is your first offense, we're gonna let you out of jail after six months for good behavior. But if you if if you get in trouble one more time, you're done. And if if that person gets in trouble again, you can't say, oh, he didn't have anybody in his life to fucking steer him in the right direction. That's on him if he does it again. This nigga did it again. Not that long after the fact. I thought it would happen in February. This happened in March the first time. And this is happening again. A fucking again. It's all no, you... his fault. It's not, again, he has his dad. He had both his parents. He's got a girlfriend. The motherfucker's got a damn daughter. He's got a whole, he's a dad. Yes. And then he's still moving like that. A nigga like that does not care. He has the world at his fingertips. But he chooses to spend his time with guns and bum ass looking dudes. But yet, your assessment of the situation is he doesn't have anybody in his freaking life. This nigga no, 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 no. This motherfucker no, no. has plenty to live for. He's got a whole daughter. He is the top player in the Grizzlies. That whole team has his name on that shit. People were not talking about Memphis until he got over there. Plenty of freaking endorsement deals. Everything going for yourself. Same... You get in trouble the first time. Okay, cool. I played devil's advocate. I said, you know what? Maybe he didn't live enough life yet. He's 23 years old. But if he does this shit again, I know it's definitely on him. And he did it again. I'm not going to talk about his dad. I'm not going to talk about his friends. I'm not going to talk about anybody else but this nigga. But this dude. That's a fact. And we got we to gotta learn how to hold people accountable. It's not about him being, you know, him being young anymore. Because if, 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 if we learn this shit in school... As kids, you don't do certain things. You gonna get in trouble. So if you don't want to get in trouble, don't do that. Don't do that. Right, but and this this goes to my point and the same point Shannon Sharp was saying because there's a lot of people saying, "Yo, let Ja be Ja. He's just a young kid. Let him do what he he doing. You know, he he's the, he makes the money." And that's the point I was making because yeah, for all the things I do, a hundred percent agree with you. But how many of those people are also sitting back like, "Yo, he makes more money than me. When am I going to tell him? I'm gonna just let him do it because." I'm sure his mother, his dad, the his the mother, his child, his buddies, they all look at him like, yo, he made it. He has the money. He has the the, the influence. He's the face of this team. When am I, I'm just going for the ride. I mean, we see it all the time with rappers, actors, you know. Right, but those team. are not the only people in his life, though. Oh, He's, no, he no. knows people of equal status or higher than him. He's rubbed a lot of he's rubbed shoulders with a lot of great people already at just 23 years old he's accomplished a lot for himself and then like literally so 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 we can't just say oh well, it's only up to his mother and his father you know great people too that are not just athletes that's like if if i was if i'm all right so let's say i'm an actor i didn't like how stephen a smith you know threw will smith under the bus but i'm just gonna exclude that for right now if <laughs> stephen a smith who is, is is a great guy great career lived a long life if if let's say if I get into some shit, God forbid, in the media or something like that, and Stephen A. call me, I'm taking everything that Stephen A. tells me as gold. As gold. Because I want to have a career like him. That is a fact. But, that is somebody with on. equal status that 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 literally, you know what I'm saying, can, can help you out. So, no, no, you... Let me just add this real quick. Because you're right, right? But it's the same thing as someone who does uh, drugs, for instance, right? Let's say you go... Uh, you, you know, you go to a program, right? And you have someone of power influence who's telling you, hey, man, you know, stay clean or whatever the case may be, right? And you listen to him. But the problem is when you, he's not around, when you go back to the environment, you still have those people telling you, oh, yo, bro, go do what you got to do, man. You, yo, yo, do it, do it, man. Don't listen to nobody. I think John needs a removal of his environment because what happens that, that would be up to think, him. That takes a, no, you're that right, takes a you're certain right. level of wisdom. But if that nigga never does it, you can't keep blaming those people. If he never does it, you cannot blame those people because you get to a certain age where you know there's certain people that you hang with 
and there's certain people that you don't hang with. I know those people. You know those people. Right. If you choose to hang with them, then you can't be surprised when those sorts of things happen. Because there is no way I'm going to be riding with you somewhere and you got a gun in the goddamn car. I'm not doing that. Because I'm going to ask you, what you got that gun for? Who are you about to shoot? Who are you worried about? If you're not worried about anybody, have that shit in a vault in your house. Unless you're worried about somebody shooting you, you should not have that gun on your person. None of them niggas are going to be able to tell them that. Why? Because they look like the types to have guns on them, they themselves. And it's yeah, right. Morant's fault for being an NBA player, multi-freaking millionaire, and you choose to hang out with those types of niggas? All right, cool. That's on him. That's what I'm saying. If this is what makes freaking John Morant happy, then by all means, he is entitled to live whatever lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, he wants to freaking live. But I don't ever want to hear that nigga get mad or, 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 or freaking, you know what I'm saying, get back at the media or some shit for people criticizing him because the shit that he's doing is dumb. It is dumb. No, no. Like I said, this dude gonna be end up, he's gonna end up on the unemployment line flipping cheeseburgers if he don't get his act together. Because at the end of the day, he fault. is he is a father. He has and that's why I'm, I'm not like a hundred percent saying he's not he's ninety five percent guilty of his his circumstances right now. He's the one who's a father who has a family to provide for. He's the face of a basketball team and he keeps doing these stupid decisions. All I'm saying is like Shannon is saying this. You know, there's some people in his corner. Like I said, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not blaming every. He's the one committing a crime, so I can't really say they deserve to go to jail with him. But at the same time, there's people he's around that just let him do whatever he's doing, and he's going to suffer the consequences. Like Shannon Sharp said, they wasn't out there dribbling basketball with you on Christmas. They weren't out there with you, you know, putting in those hard earned hours. But you're the one who's going to lose these multi million dollar deals, and it's because you want to act like a fool. So and he you know. will only have his own damn self to blame for his own stupidity because i'm gonna call a spade a spade that's just what it is all right and like so people need to really get his his friends and family out of the equation because once you get to a certain age it's all on you it's all on you and in your own personal decisions you know that that will dictate you know saying whether you go left or you go right you go straight you go back it's all on you Right or wrong, because if I make I'm not responsible for your decisions and you're not responsible for mine. You know, if 100%. you see me, if you see me making a decision that will potentially be harmful for me, then if you're my friend, then you will let me know that. But if I feel like I will make a decision that is like that's like if I tell you, yeah, yo, yo, I'm about to have a gun and I'm about to go and do this shit. And then if you, as my friend, allow me to do that, then you're not really my friend. And then I have to see that and recognize that and then fucking, you know, remove you from my goddamn circle. You know, let me let me just clarify something real quick. When I say I feel bad for him, I don't mean in a sense that he's some helpless young dude or some helpless millionaire. What I mean by it is, you know, one, like I say, I hate to see especially a young black man doing these incredibly stupid things and like i said he's gonna end up losing a lot of deals as he's already seen he's gonna end up losing a lot of money and he doesn't realize it but at some point these teams the grizzlies any other team is not gonna want to pick him up no more and then what's gonna happen he doesn't have enough money he can retire right now he doesn't have if if the nba decides not to pick him up Will the G League pick him up? Probably not. He could probably go to China if he wanted to, but he's that that's if they want to pick him up after all these controversies. So he's putting himself in a position where I don't think he truly realizes how much money he's losing, how much money is on the table that he's losing, how much money he's going to be losing in the future. Um, and he doesn't realize he's throwing his career away every time he makes a news with this. Because you know, in in that industry, they say good a bad publicity is as any publicity is good publicity, right? Mm -hmm. So for him, he may think people are talking about me. You know, I'm not even playing. People are talking about me. I'm you know, I'm young, I'm good looking, I got money, I'm getting all the girls. He don't he probably don't he's not sitting in the back realizing, yo, I'm losing millions of dollars right now. Uh, and if I keep acting like this in a year or two, because he probably drinking I, and doing drugs, exactly. And he's making these stupid decisions. And like I said, I do feel bad for him because, like I said, there are there's times where I watch, I've read about teen stars, 
uh, stars who start up as, as young kids or people who blow up in, into fame at a very young age. I'm not saying Ja is a, a middle schooler, but he's a young dude. Man, and save your sympathy think- because he don't even want it. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure if he, if he was in here, he would be like, yo, don't feel bad for me. I'm t- I'm telling you, like this is how this is how he feels. Like you're you're no no you right. Your sympathy is misplaced because it no, is somewhere it is somewhere that is not wanted. Because I'm pretty sure John Moran is somewhere laughing about this. He's not taking it seriously because he didn't take it serious before, and I'm pretty sure he's probably not taking it serious now. So if he wants to be a thug gangster dude, sure go ahead. But if that nigga comes out talking about oh man yo the media be talking shit, uh, I'm I'm just like literally I I, <laughs> I don't even know like what the fuck I would say. In response to that, because I, I, like, I'm, I'm just baffled, just even contemplating on him feeling a way about the media talking about him this way, because especially black people, because like people want to see you win. So when people are seeing you do stupid shit that are compromise your success, it's like, yo, of course people are gonna say something because people want to see you win. It's like I respected him, you know, what I'm saying before that. I mean, I still kind of respect him now, just for him getting to the league and being such a skilled player. But like everything, like off the court it's like i respect him on the court but off the court it's like nah bro no nah. no you you 100 percent right and that, that's the problem i respect I'll De'Aaron fox like people need to talk about De'Aaron fox something like that because he like that's somebody who should get the attention like you know and he and he had a good season this season so all this popularity that john moran has people need to just segue to where it, it it's it, it'll be more well deserved freaking De'Aaron fox uh, you know what? And, you know, this is a symptom of our society, because like I said, man, we live in a society, especially with rap music, uh, hip hop blending into many cultures. And I know a lot of people will say, well, it's uh, rap music is a separate thing, but it does bleed in our culture, our culture. I think John looks at it. How many rapper dudes? And I mean, I'm talking about it because I see, you know, just in everyday life, but. We see all, all these af, uh, these rappers, you know, posting up guns, uh, getting arrested, in and out of court, like I'm saying, right? And a lot of people, all the view trash school. rappers, all, all the, the trash, trash rappers. ones, all but the. Still I, I don't. I can't name you like one good rapper from this era that is flashing guns. Trash. Their music is trash. Their personalities are trash. And then where would they be if they weren't freaking rappers in a dark alley somewhere selling drugs? I'm not listening to their music. No, you're right. And John I don't is stupid for listening to that type of music. And if you listen, but, you stupid for listening to stupid music. <laughs> but I, you know what? I, it's hard for me to because, like I said, it's a generational thing. You know, we we like Tupac, but I'll admit, you look at my phone right now. I have I have some I have some music on there that I've even had Nelly say, "Yo, I hear you in the shower rapping, like you 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 good." <laughs> but so it's like one of those things. Like I see. The young generation, not that young, because I mean, we're not that far from us. But I see, like my little brother, listen music he listens to is a lot of shooting, a lot of blowing up. And we may not, I'm not us, but you know, the older generations may say, "Yo, that's stupid music." But for the, for our generation and younger, they're looking at the you know these rappers, uh, Young Thug right now, like I said, is facing a lot, uh, you know jail time. Uh, G Herbo, uh, Tay uh, Tay Flock, I think his name is. All these rappers, Lou Dirt coming out and he was talking about, I'm getting paid to beef with Takashi. Uh, Takashi, you know, trolling people online and doing all these stupid things. People are looking at these rappers like, you know, they got the jewelry, they got the money, they got the clout, they those get the people are idiots, and those people are you know? sheep. You, those people are sheep. I don't have sympathy for sheep. So if you if you will literally just follow anybody just because they got jewelry, tattoos, and fancy cars, and mm-hmm. I guess girls too or some shit, just because they got all of that don't mean I'm following them. Hell no. So John Morant, John Morant should be a leader. He should be a leader. He's not a leader. He's a follower. So if 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 he's inspired, if his whole lifestyle is inspired by the music that he listens to and he's lame ass rappers, then he's a, he's a follower. He's a sheep. He's a sheep. I could I could give a damn about any of the music that I listen to. I determine who I am, the type of life that I live. And my interests, goals, aspirations, all of that. It is nothing is attributed to the music that I listen to. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So John Morant, trash, whatever. You know, anyway. So what are your thoughts? Please be sure again (laughs) to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.